Welcome back to Sora Assist. Adam here and got a new rewards video for you today and I've got 10 rewards to pick up including my common card. Got two tier ones to pick up, three tier twos, one tier three or on the limited and two tier two rares. So really looking forward to this one. I'm going to be doing it on the mobile phone as well so I'll shoot over there to, to the mobile view in a minute so we can see the fantastic reward reveal that you get on the mobile app now for so rare. If you like this video please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not signed up to survey yet then sign up use the link below to get a free limited card and 13 coming cards first then let's just have a quick look at the teams that won me these rewards very quickly so the all-star limited team david roof had a fantastic performance scored 83 douglas santos did fantastic as normal this could have been a lot better if carlos gill got an assist or a goal in this game he was my captain bit of a quiet week for him really luis alberto got a fantastic 99 and malcolm got had a quieter game as well actually 46 so a tier one limited here 11 points away from a tier zero all-star rare team just scripts the 0.02 eth no reward there though in terms of the cards all-star rare pro did well for me Tier 2 rare here. I was 7 points away from a tier 1. Kim Dong didn't manage to keep a clean sheet, but still had a fairly decent game. Santos was my captain. Lewis Morgan had a quiet game, only 50 points from him. Aspas was one of the heroes on the day, 94 points. And Jesus Ferreira also had a good game with 60 points. Tier 1 in the Challenge Europe Limited, 30 points away from a tier 0. Dave Roof again had a fantastic game. Wolfrich did well, 51. Cums had a fantastic game, 86 points. Maleka didn't score in this one unfortunately and Captain Steven Bagus come off the bench to get an assist. No reward in the Challenge of Europe. Champion America team, this is the Tier 3 Limited. So Dela Cruz started on the bench on this one unfortunately so this could have been a lot better. Captain was Mihailovic who did well for me so I've still got Tier 3 to pick up there. No reward in the Champion America Rare. Champion Asia Limited, Tier 2 Limited to come. Um, 9 points away from a tier 1 actually so Sejeno did fantastic, kept a clean sheet Fukumori obviously did well as well Harukawa, fairly decent game only 55 points, he was my captain though Min Q was the hero on the day with some 2 goals I believe in this game and Magoza unfortunately didn't score but I've still got tier 2 good limited coming Champion Asia Rare team did well tier 2 Rare coming, 3 points away from a tier 1 on this one, again Min Q was the hero 76 for Captain Jin Ho so he did pretty decent Nancy Fukumori and Dong Hyung and 46. Champion Europe Limited, Tier 2 coming here, 18 points away from Tier 1. Rare Ring Gold didn't keep a clean sheet, unfortunately. Hakebi had a decent game. Arnold had a quieter game, but Plea and Aspas were the star performers. Captain was Aspas, absolutely fantastic. I think he scored two goals in this game. No reward for the Champion Europe Rare. Specialist Limited League. Sung Ryong kept a clean sheet. Lane did fantastic for me again. 75 points. Jin Ho, 76. Fortunately, Sobolov or Debord didn't score, but that didn't matter. It still got me a tier 2 limited. 16 points away from a tier 2 rare, actually. So it would have been good if these two could have gotten the score sheet. No reward in the under 23 or the underdog division. Same with the underdog rare. Okay, so let's shoot over to the app then and let's have a look what rewards I've got. So here we are, we're on the mobile app now. We're going to go ahead and click Claim Rewards. So this is the Tier 2 Rare then, first of all, for finishing 115th in the All-Star Rare Division. So Brazilian. A goalkeeper. Oh, he opens the starter. Circle Bruges. Wallison. Now, I don't know if he's a starter for them, but if he is, that's going to be absolutely brilliant. I doubt it if he's a Tier 2, but we'll see what happens there. Tier 2, this is the just the common card here. I'm hoping for a goalkeeper. Goalkeepers are still obviously um, useful in the training division. But it's not. It's a midfield there. It's Kahiri of Koln. Okay, next up then, another Tier 2 rare. This is for finishing 20th in the Asia division. So it's a Japanese player. <laughs> Forward. Sapura. Oh, Suga. Is he doing well? A youngster. That's pretty good actually, because obviously I've got um, Fukumori in defence. I don't know if he's been starting for them. Maybe he has. We'll check that um, in a minute, in a moment. This is obviously the ETH, 2.0 ETH, not point not two ETH even. And this is the Tier 1 Limited then in the Challenge of Europe. So this will hopefully be a good one. This was finishing 91st. So is that Morocco goalkeeper? Oh, Turkish goalkeeper. Is he a starter? That's that's going to be decent. He's going to be worth a decent amount of money. 
Um, yeah, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look at this tier three then for the America Limited, finishing 446. Is a forward, New England Revolution, Josie Altador. Hmm, I don't know what he's doing these days. He's capable of finding the back of the net, but I don't know if he's been a regular for New England. Again, I'll check on that. I think it's a pretty decent tier three limited, that though. So tier one here for the All-Star Limited, it's finishing 60th. Japanese player, defender. Kawasaki Fontale, Yamane, absolutely fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant. What a reward that is. One of the best defenders in the J League. And I've obviously got Rung Xiong as well already in the limited card. So that is an absolutely fantastic pull, that one. So tier two here, the Asia Limited finishes 63rd. German forward, good. Getting plenty of forwards here. German book. Ichchenko, he's a good player, he's a quality player, I know about him, I'm a big fan, really good card that, happy with that. Tier 2, limited then again here for the Champion Europe, so this one should be a decent one. Uh, so there's that, that Morocco again, midfielder, Marseille, Harit, oh I'm, I'm happy with that. Very, yeah, I'm really happy with that. He's a fantastic, he was a fantastic young prospect. Obviously, he's 24 now. I don't know if he's been coming to form recently for Marseille, but I know he's got some good uh, underlying numbers in terms of for, for the SO5 scoring matrix. So, yeah, another really good pull. Final one then, this is the Specialist Limited reward then. So, it's a tier two. Let's have a look what I get. So, Austria, midfielder. Uh, Austria Wien, is it? Brown Alder. Not heard of him, 19 year old. I'll check him out, see if he's good. It's a tier 2, so I'm hopefully he's, he's a starter, but he's a young player. That's always a bonus. So, yeah, really pleased with that. I'll jump over now back to the desktop and we'll have a look at these players in a bit more detail. So, here we are then, back on the desktop. So, let's have a look at some of these players then that I've just won. So, we'll start with Brown Nowder. So, let's have a look at this guy then. He's only 20, which is good. Going for around £22 for his limited as well. So it looks like he's started the last um, 15 of last five games as well. So he's played a few of the games as well, which is good. So he's getting some minutes in the team. Yeah, so he's looking pretty decent, really. Not a bad scorer for an under-21. 90 minutes as well. He's playing regular. Good, yeah, good young player to have for, for, for definite, this one. £22, probably one that I'll keep as well. Now, Harit, I don't think he's getting into the team currently at Mass, is he? I think he's probably making some appearances. He's going for around 26 for his limited at the moment. He's only 24. He is playing a few of the games, but I think it's more of as a sub, if I remember correctly. Let's have a look here. That was 80 minutes there, but then 16, 21, 45. There was a period here where it was, looks like he was getting some minutes there, and he was playing well. I thought the stats for this guy were decent. Just needs to get regular football, really, and I think he's going to be a really good card to have. So, again, it's another one that I'll potentially keep. Good utility player there to have, especially with all the limited leagues there is at the moment. Now, Wilderson, I've got a feeling that he's not going to be the first choice next season. He is starting at the moment, but I think there's a potential twist in the tail here. Let's have a look at this guy. Dillian or something? Dillian or something? There's this first choice keeper for Circle Brews generally. He's only 25 though, this guy, so it's a pretty decent rare card to have. Yeah, as you can see, he's played recently, but he's not always been the first choice. Let's just go to the Circle Brews squad. I just want to check on this Dillian, just. I think that's his name. Go to the roster. D Dylan, there he is, D Dillian. Good photo as well. <laughs> pointing to the badge there. I think he's meant to be pointing to the badge. So, yeah, he's injured. So, that's why this um, Wallison's playing. So, that's not the best scenario, really, is it? Um, and his 3D average is £81 for his card. So, it's one that I'm just going to keep. You never know. It might get him over to another club, potentially. Maybe get first team minutes there. But I'm not going to sell him a keeper for £80. So, I'm going to keep him. So, one that I'm really pleased with is Yamane. This is absolutely fantastic. And I have got... Um, Rung Song as well in goal. This is one that I've wanted for a while, this card. But I didn't want to pay the hefty price for this this guy, really, um, at the time when I was looking to potentially purchase him. Because he was a bit too high. Uh, I think he probably still is a little bit too high. I think he's maybe come down, so I don't think he's having the best start of the season. But his underlying stats are fantastic, so I'm confident that he's going to still be churning out some fantastic scores. As you can see, yeah, his price has steadily come down. As I say, that's probably due to his form, 
But overall, I think he is a fantastic player. And as you can see, he's got some brilliant scores here. He's having a bit of a quiet spell recently, but I don't think that's going to continue. I'm confident that he's going to get back to these levels, so I'm really happy with that. As I say, I've got Rung Xiong as well, which is obviously the goalkeeper for Kawasaki Fantale. So that is going to be a good defensive stat there, potentially, for one of my teams going forward. Really happy with that pull. Fantastic. Now, Jersey Altidore. Now, I don't know about this guy. Um... He's only 32 though, so that's not too bad. But I don't think he's starting, is he, for um, New England Revolution. I think he's just signed for those as well in this year, actually. Uh, potentially in February. This card's going for about £4, so there's not much point in even selling him. Might as well keep him as a utility player. You never know if it's an injury in New England or anything like that. He could step in there. Um, so he's getting a few minutes off the bench by the looks of it. Uh, doesn't look like his first choice, though. Yeah, it's definitely not first choice for them. As I say, I think he's transferred from another club. Toronto, yeah, it's Sam from Toronto look on a free in February. Uh, so he's only started two this season, played an average of 34 minutes, that's atrocious really. Uh, last season he only started eight as well for Toronto. So I'll look at his general minutes then. So, as you can see, he's making a lot of sub appearances, so at least, at least he's getting some time on the pitch. He was injured for a long time here for the for Toronto here by the looks of things. We've all started a few more minutes for Toronto as well and scoring as well to be fair. Not in squad, not in squad, injured. He's got a few injury issues by the looks of things. Injured, he's always injured. Yeah, so one that I'm going to keep I think. For £4, there's no point in selling him. You never know, he could get into the team, he could come on the, off the bench, get a goal in one game one week. Well, I'm really needing a striker. So, I might as well keep him. I'm not going to sell him for £4. Let's have a look at this guy then, Mohamedi. Turkish goalkeeper. I think he's number one, this guy. Let's have a look then. Uh, so, yeah, he started 100% at the last five. £44 is going for us for his limited. Some decent scores as well, yeah. So, £44 for a goalkeeper. Looks cheap for me. He was only 32 as well, so... But one that I'm going to keep for now, potentially keep till next season, then reassess my squad, maybe sell him on when he's at a higher price when the Turkish League's kicking off again. But he's obviously going to be used in the meantime in potentially some specialist teams or underdog teams, um, and also in my training as well, of course. So Lech Kenko is a good one to have, good forward to have. He's on and off in terms of form. He, he is capable of getting some really good scores, this guy. But he doesn't always get in the team. Going for around £19. So I think he's a good rotation player to have. Especially when the European leagues are finishing soon. So it's just going to be the Asia leagues of course. And the America leagues. So I think he's going to definitely have a good card to have. Just for that extra um, squad depth really. As you can see he's got some fantastic scores here. But this is when he was more of a regular I believe. Yeah. As you can see he's capable of some brilliant scores. He's got a few good scores here. He's had a few did not plays recently though. So there is that risk. But again, decent pickup, decent uh, utility player to have there. Now, Daikai Zuga. I think this was the most expensive card that I got because he is a starter for Consadol Sapporo. His rare is going for around 315 at the moment, which is the average. That's the, well, that's the current floor price, actually. Uh, he's 23, so he's got under 23 utility till 2023. Not that that bothers me too much, so don't actually have a rare under 23 goalkeeper. Uh, but it's definitely potentially going to be um, usable in uh, obviously the Asia League and the All-Star League during the summer when there's no European games. And scores-wise, he's not looking too bad recently, actually. I think he's getting more minutes in the team more recently. I think before that it was more of a sub, but look at, I've looked at his stats, actually. And I think his stats are pretty decent. So it looks like he plays on the left wing, by the looks of it. So he's a forward on so rare. But it actually looks like he plays on the left wing. He's categorised as a midfielder on um, surface score as well. Uh, he's only young. He started eight games this, this season. Played 11 last season. He started 26 last season, actually. He was only playing an average of 62 minutes, though. He scored one and got two assists last season. Season before that, he started 25. So it's, well, it's been actually a regular for a while now. But obviously... Two years ago, he was only 21, so probably still developing, really, as a footballer. And more recently, he has been on better form more recently. It does seem to be getting more minutes as well. So as you can see, these scores here are potentially a bit rubbish. 
wasn't really scoring, but obviously we're still developing here, I would say. It's been getting a few minutes, actually, for Sapporo over the last few years. But I think this season is really starting to show what he's capable of. Especially judging by these last three games, he's got some really good numbers here. He's got a number of key passes, look, as you can see. He's got a number of passes as well, which is good to see as well. And his um, goal threat is looking particularly impressive, especially in this game here, where he's had six shots. So I think he's, he's looking all right, really. He's not 24 until September as well, so he's still pretty young. I don't think he's too bad, really. He's got two goals this season. No assists, but he's got two goals. So it's not a bad card to have, as I say, with the, with the summer approaching. Probably going to be a good one. Do I really want to sell him for £300? Potentially. I'll see how he fits into my squads. I'll wait till the summer. Because I would have thought that some of the Asian players might go up in value. Once people realise that they're the only cards available to use. Uh, so I'll hold on to him for now. I'm sure he's going to come in useful, like I say, during the summer months. I'll reassess, see if I'm using him much in my squads. If not, probably look to cash in on him. Take some profits, because... I'm saving up for a goalkeeper at the moment in the Champion Europe division. So if any of you guys know some good shouts for the Champion Europe goalkeeper for next season, do let me know in the comments section below. But yeah, overall, absolutely fantastic rewards there. Majority of them I'll probably keep as well for the all got potential. The only one that I might potentially sell is Suga. I'll see how I get on, like I say, and also Mohamedi as well, because I don't think I need another goalkeeper for that region. But I'll see how it fits in. Like I say, it might be good for the underdog and specialist leagues. So we'll see how we go there. Okay, that was all for this video. If you did like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Surrey yet, then sign up. Use the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. You can also become a member of this YouTube channel as well by clicking that join button below where you'll get early access to all the scouting videos on Surrey Assist. Or become a patron of Surrey Assist for weekly play scouting and early access to the scouting videos on the So Rare Assist YouTube channel. You can also check our website as well, SoRareAssist.com, for free So Rare resources. And grab yourself a free 100 page ultimate guide to So Rare ebook. Okay, that was all for today. I hope you guys had some success as well in the last game week and got some nice rewards. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.